Okay, and now we have systems, a system of two equations, the substitution method. This is our second vlog in the substitution method sequence. Now we are facing two equations that we have here, and we need to figure out, figure out which equation and which variable we want to isolate. It really depends on what you see. Upon looking at these two equations, um, I know what I would pick. What I'm seeing here, I'm looking for a variable that would have one for a coefficient, if we even have that. Not a coefficient of 2, 5, 3, 10. If we have one with a coefficient of 1, especially a positive 1, that means it'll be easier to isolate. There's no division, there may be not any fractions. I could use x and 2x, it would be I divide by 2. So I maybe circle some fractions, which aren't bad. But, you know, for right now, I'd like to avoid possible errors later if I could. So I'm going to use... Well, let's look at the second equation first. I'm sorry. We have 5x minus 2y equals 10. I apologize. Uh, I could use negative 2y. I'd be dividing by negative 2. Again, we're looking at fractions. Um, you know... I think the first equation with the y variable is our best choice. Okay, now, like I said before, the y variable in this equation already has one for coefficient. And now we, so we have 2x plus y equals 13. What that means is, in order to isolate the y, I need to, quote-unquote, get rid of 2x. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, and that should work out for me. I tend to keep the variable term at first in the equations. You know, I didn't write y equals 13 minus 2x. I switched it around to say y equals negative 2x plus 13. It's the same, var it's the same thing, um, but I just prefer to write it this way. It's more standard. So now we have y equals something. We can take that something and replace it for y in the other equation.
Let me check my work now. I, it, easy to make mistakes here. A lot of numbers. 5x minus 2y equals 10. Okay, 5x minus 2 times the quantity negative 2x plus 13 equals 10. Uh, so far, I'm okay. Okay, now we have the value for x. x equals 4. We've replaced for y and solved for x. Now we need to take the x value, x equals 4, and replace it in one of the other two original equations. Uh, if I remember correctly, the first equation seemed easier, so I'm going to replace it in that equation. And now there you have it. I've worked the, I've worked the second part of this problem. x equals 4 and y equals 5. Now that pair, 4 comma 5, you would check it in both equations. Replace both the x variable and the y variable with the values, and they should work out just fine. And if they don't equal a true value, then you need to go back to your work and check that out. For now, I'll let you do it on your own. Thank you, and see you next vlog.